Welcome fire signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message for weekends commencing Friday the 17th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's go ahead and jump in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the weekend ahead. So fire signs during the pre-shuffle and uh, meditation for your weekend reading, uh, I received a channeled message that many of you are embarking upon a new beginning, okay? A new chapter. There's some sort of universal truth that is coming into fruition. So at this time, this weekend, it's really, really important to speak your truth because what you speak is technically what you are co-creating with divine spirit universe. And that is what is going to come into fruition. There's some sort of transformation or some sort of change that is going to happen. You're being guided to trust that all of it will work out. There are miracles around you. Uh, the fire signs that I'm picking up, you're very, very unique and you're being guided to embrace that uniqueness. Uh, many of you may be feeling a little bit anxious, okay, because there's change coming around you. It's st definitely starting uh, this weekend. So um, just know that all will be well, okay? Whoever you're connecting with, um, I feel that there is... Um, Either this person feels a little bit disconnected from you or it could be a breakup, okay? Um, a lot of misunderstandings, miscommunication, but this person actually sees you as their wish fulfillment. So there could be a new beginning or a reconciliation um, fire signs that's coming in for you. If that doesn't resonate, it could be um, somebody perhaps that... I don't know, it's getting over a heartbreak, um, over a situation, and uh, you are you and this person are entering into a new relationship, something really new that's going to transform any anxiety, any kind of bad relationships. Um, yeah, so just know that all will be well, okay? Let's have a look and see how this is connecting with your crowning messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me our crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, thank you. So your first card out, oh, look at that. Eye of, ne of the needle, intentionality. So uh, I feel that this is letting us know that you have the power within you, uh, fire signs, to almost thread and weave the intentions of what it is you want for the future. And I feel that that very much coincides with the new beginning transformation that many of you are going through, either in other aspects of your life or with regards to a relationship. Um, so definitely, uh, this is a time to be speaking your truth, okay? Um, and like I said, whatever it is you're speaking out there to the universe, it's going to come back to you. So if you want to uh, co-create and weave with that needle, that eye of the needle, you, you, it's like you need to see what it is you want, co-create and speak that truth out to the universe. And I feel that that new beginning, that transformation is definitely something that's on the table that, that you guys are going to embark. And one card fell out on the floor. So... Uh, the second card that you have got is hollow bone teachability. So with hollow bone, I feel that you're being guided to um, ask yourself the question um, whether or not you are teachable fire signs. OK, so it's kind of like whatever this new beginning, whatever this transformation is going on this weekend, I feel as if you're being guided um, with the hollow bone to almost um listen to or this sounds really weird but the skeletons of the past okay and the learnings and the wisdom that you have um gained from those experiences the feathers represent messages from your spirit team that are coming in to remind you of some of the past experiences you have gone through it could be you it could be your person but remember i was picking up that somebody's feeling quite anxious i felt it was your you guys but it could be your other person you're being guided to know it's like your spirit team are um um uh 
with this hollow bone. It's like they are um, playing out. They're giving you messages, um, signs, synchronicities of lessons of the past. And they're asking you the question, have you learnt from them? And then your bonus card that's come out, Spirit of the River, movement towards adventure. Absolutely. This is this new beginning um, that I was picking up, this transformation. Uh, many of you may have had uh, your emotions, many of your emotions may have gone through a lot of turmoil with regards to past connections uh, that didn't really work out. And you're being guided to almost uh, like go back and recognize those lessons, recognize those emotions and know that you have moved forward. OK, know that you have moved forward and notice this uh, fairy. Um, this is that transformation. So uh, fire signs this weekend, it's really, really important for with that eye of the needle to uh, first and foremost to see what it is you want for the future. OK, remember your lessons of the past and know that it's time for you to move forward to a new adventure, a new beginning, a new a trans something that is going to transform um, your your life, your relationship, uh, the situation that you are in. OK, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me our crowning wisdom message to the question? How does the soulmates of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 17th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. Thank you. And then we have the hummingbird. Now, what's really beautiful with the hummingbird coming in here for your crowning uh, wisdom message? This is really letting us know um, fire signs. Um, the hummingbird has that beautiful ability of moving uh, through time at speed. OK, and I feel that this is definitely correlating with you recognizing um, stuff of the past that you're being guided to remember. Uh, recognizing are you teachable did you learn from those experiences but also that you're moving forward okay so even though um the hummingbirds are uh, very very small uh they do like i say have that ability to travel great distances great journeys okay um and they are um, very territorial, very protective. So I feel that it's uh, uh, the hummingbird is coming in um, as as almost a guide for this new beginning, this new transformation. OK, um, I feel that, yeah, it's a new adventure you guys are going on. Um, and it's not the time to linger around, linger around in the past. Remember the past, of course, um, to make sure that you. Uh, you have learned from the lessons of the past, particularly when it came to your emotions. But then uh, move forward, move forward, OK, on that new adventure. Uh, see what it is you want to see with the eye of the needle and speak your truth, OK? Um, and I feel as if uh, the hummingbird is coming in to let you know that they are around you as a, a, a animal totem, or it could it be, even be your spirit team to say that they are with you to go on this great beautiful journey that you are embarking on fire signs okay um so if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push the video out to other fire signs it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome 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 back thank you for all your support encouragement and donations it's really really appreciated and I hope that you all receive a useful and meaningful message from this weekend's reading. OK, let's get into your main love message, fire signs. 
Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 17th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically towards Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Um, fire signs, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this weekend reading. If they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. Let's start with our beautiful Aries, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 17th. This card turns around. Thank you. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And one more, thank you. And then we have the world card, beautiful Aries. The world card is representing that new beginning, uh, that transformation change, okay? And Leos, thank you. We've got, wow, we've got the two of cups. Um, my, oh, and we also have the uh, high priestess. And uh, one more, please. Thank you for Leos. Uh, we have the eight of swords in reverse and for our sagittarius please my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of sagittarius thank you we have the moon card in reverse my angels and oh, thank you we oh okay we have the emperor uh, coming up here and this card wanted to come out and we have the magician okay so fire signs if you want to go straight to your respective reading please feel free to click on uh, those links down below in the description bo box it'll take you straight to your reading right now we're going to start with the beautiful energy of our Aries Okay, so Aries, for you, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles and the World card. So straight off the bat, I feel as if whoever you're connecting with, I feel that they're coming in as a Knight of Pentacles. Uh, somebody that's coming towards you uh, with some sort of solid offer. I feel that this person either sees you as um, somebody that works really, really hard, or it could be their energy with the eight of pentacles this person is a hard worker and it feels as if they want to almost come towards you uh with um the same level of financial uh, wealth or financial health okay um so if this person has been quite quiet on you or you have felt disconnected or they felt disconnected from you it's because this person's been working on building their pentacles okay i feel that you're being guided particularly with the eye of the needle if you want a reconciliation with this person it's definitely here with the world card there's change coming about so i feel that you're being guided with the eye of the needle to almost thread uh, your intentions of what you want. Remember I was saying in your channeled message, this is a time for you to speak your truth. Um, and that is, as you speak your truth, that is what you're co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe. Um, but with the hollow bone, um, you're being guided um, with that flute, that shaman flute. It's almost like... Um, you may have to like empty yourself out, okay? Empty yourself out of what you think is going on with this person, particularly if they've gone quite quiet on you because the, you may not realize that they have been working on their pentacles, okay? And that may be where that misunderstanding, miscommunication um, on your part, Aries, is coming from that we saw in the channeled message. Um, as you um, <coughs> empty out, um, 
what you preconceive or what you think is going on with this person. Um, you're being guided to ask yourself, are you teachable? Have you gone through a similar experience where you kind of thought your partner or whoever you was your um, object of your affection was uh, up to something or doing something and it later on turns out that they weren't that's what you're being called to um, remember and learn from that okay it's like empty yourself out of any preconceived ideas thread that needle of intentions of what it is you want to co-create and many of you with the spirit of the river it's like you're being guided to um, go with the flow so hollow bone is allowing divine spirit universe to flow in you and experience this change for what it actually is remember um sometimes uh, uh only kind of like uh i don't know something like 50 percent of um uh, what 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 you are told about a situation um, is 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 not true, um, and then you've got like forty percent of what you're telling yourself may not be true. The other ten percent is the real truth. Um, that's that universal truth that we were talking about. That's what you've got to allow to flow in you, through you, and around you. So empty out almost like yourself of any preconceived conceived ideas don't go against the grain okay don't ponder on problems okay with that spirit of the river you're being guided to go with the flow of your emotions move forward from the past okay and move forward into this adventure this change that's coming about and with the hummingbirds coming in here uh, the hummingbird is telling you that this is success okay you can have success and this is a beautiful journey that you're embarking on with this person okay with the world card you could be at a different different location, um, different countries. Um, uh, there, there is definitely a separation here from locations, but it also could mean spiritual. But that circle is balance, um, change coming in to balance something out, transform, transformation is really big happening for you. And with the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel there's two ways that I see this. Either this person is thinking about you quite a lot, Aries, um, seeing you as somebody that's a hard worker, seeing you as somebody that is very grounded and um, very spiritual uh, very balanced somebody that um is is marriage material long-term commitment but it also could be them as well they are um uh hard at work uh they are grounded balanced ready for marriage okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you and the seven of swords so whoever you are connecting with the seven of swords this person definitely wants to fight for this connection okay they want to fight for this connection um and i feel that they if it's them that's uh focused on work okay and that's one of the reasons why they have been a bit quiet or a bit disconnected from you um it feels as if um yeah, they were they were building those pentacles, and it's like now that they are in a position, if they're feeling a bit disconnected from you, feeling as if um, because they haven't paid you much attention, like you may be walking away. Uh, I feel that they're coming in to want to fight for this connection, hence why they're coming towards you with a solid offer, slow and steady. But notice the pentacles that are there. Uh, this person's been building up their money. Yeah focusing on work thank you and thank you so uh with the uh eight of wands here so this person's coming in to talk okay they're coming in to talk um and the ten of swords they're a little bit that are, so it's them that's feeling a bit anxious okay we saw that in the channel's message for the fire signs this person's feeling a bit anxious to come in and talk uh with the knight of pentacles yeah so this is just clarifying uh that this person is coming towards you definitely uh with a solid offer wanting to talk a bit a little bit anxious okay and then we've got the uh seven of swords the, do you know what i feel that this person um is coming towards you uh, kind of like with a bit of secret. Um, 
Notice here the two swords. They know that a conversation needs to be had to, with you in order to evoke change. This could be your energy as well, knowing that a conversation needs to be had, but you don't quite know how to have it. Okay, and then we've got uh, three swords in one hand and two swords in another. So I feel that whatever it is, um, it's like this person just kind of knows that if they want to co-create this future with you, um, they need to kind of come out from behind the computers, come out of their work, okay, and come towards you and kind of offer something to kind of keep you engaged in the connection, okay? Many of you, you may be keeping a secret that you want change, with the, ah, oh, look at that, there's the five of pentacles. So uh, Aries, it's you that's feeling very disconnected from this person, very left out in the cold. And that's possibly what you're keeping a secret, that you want to, uh, you want change, you, you want transformation. You don't want to feel left out in the cold. You don't want to feel um, disconnected from this person. Um, and I feel that those two swords up there on the wall, I feel that you want to have a conversation, but you don't quite know how to have it. Uh, with this person and I feel that this is them uh, coming towards you with that cup of love so not only are they coming towards you with something solid to keep you engaged in this relationship because I feel that this person has been busily working uh, to increase their finances or stabilize their finances they're coming towards you with nothing but love all right. And that is the new beginning that I was picking up, um, that transformation, something that is letting you know from your channeled message that all is well. It's almost like a miracle has occurred by this person just almost just knowing, just knowing that they've got to reach out to you. All right. Beautiful. Let's have a look and see what your advice messages are. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? your advice thank you oh look and then we've got integrity so be flexible but also true to you Do you remember we were talking about that universal truth so be flexible but also true to you stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you so i feel that when this person comes towards you if this is resonating for you already i feel that any misunderstanding miscommunication will be cleared up but if you are feeling like well you know what uh you can't really Really, like if you want to say to your person do you know what what do you expect me to think if you go months and weeks on end without communicating to me or I send you a message and, and you don't respond um, I, of course I'm going to think that you're not interested or something is wrong with the connection so stand by your truth stand by your integrity and I feel that this person will stand by you with that they'll, they'll, they'll understand what you're talking about and then your second message is sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. I cannot believe the amount of truth that's coming in. Uh, Aries, this is a time this weekend for you to honestly speak your truth um, in order for you to thread through your intentions through that needle eye, okay, to weave the future that you want with this person, okay, um, and it says here, uh, beyond your uh, thoughts lies the eternal truth, the I am presence of eternal love, so I feel that you're being guided to speak your truth uh, with that sacred knowing, that divinity within you. I feel many of you do love this person. There's a, there's there's love here um, for sure, um, and I feel that you're being guided to. Uh, speak your truth with love, with kindness, okay? That is what's going to be transformational. Many of you, um, I would say, that are very unique, okay? You're a very unique individual to this person. Um, and it's almost like you can get away with kind of saying to this person, do you know something? You not reaching out or you not responding to my messages, I'm not being funny, but of course, I'm going to think something's wrong because I'm not used to that. I'm used to when I reach out to somebody, whether it's a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, wife, whatever it is, um, I have a kind of expectation that you'd at least acknowledge it, that kind of thing. Your uniqueness allows you to say that, have that conversation with this person and they will get it, okay? 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. And your final message is, oh, look at that. Do it now. <laughs> Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. Um, and let come on, let's face it, Aries. This do it now is about speaking your truth this weekend when this person approaches you. That is what's going to trigger change, transformation, a new beginning all is well. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Let's move on to our beautiful Leos now. Okay, so Leos, for you, we've got the Two of Cups, the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so Whoever you're connecting with, Leo, um, I feel as if they see you as their ultimate soulmate, their twin flame. They do not want to let go of this connection. Um, if you have been with the Eight of Swords, um, been really um, almost like in this like mental entrapment, uh, treat, really trying to understand how this person feels about you. Uh, I feel many of you are coming out of that energy um, as you connect with your higher self, uh, that intuition. It almost feels as if um, with the hollow bone, um, that shaman flute is almost as if this weekend you're going to clear out any preconceived ideas or um, uh, thoughts of not knowing okay how this person feels about you uh it feels as if if you feel a little bit disconnected from this person or you feel that they're a bit disconnected from you a lot of misunderstandings miscommunication as as to how this person feels towards you i feel with that hollow bone uh this is uh it, it almost feels as if you're being guided to clear yourself out of any preconceived ideas to allow the flow of your higher self to give you the information that you need. Hence why you're coming in um, out of overthinking, over analyzing this connection. OK, I would say that you are definitely with the hummingbird embarking on a new adventure with this person. When you realize that this person um, is connecting with you on a spiritual um, on the astral plane spiritual level okay so you may get signs or synchronicities or uh, dreams okay or visions uh, that this person doesn't want to let you go and I feel that if you do want um, a transformation or you want a change it's almost like you no longer need to overanalyze. Um, it's like you're you're being guided with the eye of the needle to thread through uh, what it is you see for this uh, future with this person, what it is you want to weave, what it is you want to co-create and speak your truth, okay? Many of you may have either denied this connection or tried to... Um, Fight how you feel about this person. Hence why I would have said um, before this weekend that you've really been overanalyzing um, conversations, uh, how this person feels about you, almost trying to figure out how you feel about this person. Many of you have been um, like really bashing your head against your emotions, okay? You're being guided to go with the flow of it. Uh, with the hollow bone, empty yourself out of any preconceived ideas. Uh, the teachable part Part of this message is kind of like, have you um, had those patterns of behaviours before where you have overanalyzed a situation and it's turned out not to be um, not to be true? Um, are, are you being guided to uh, remember those lessons? And as you and this person uh, connect spiritually, I feel as if that's where you come out of overanalyzing because you're going to know that this person doesn't want to let you go. OK, and that's where this new beginning, this transformation happens. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, and like I said, in in the uh, channeled message for the fire signs, this person sees you as the wish fulfillment. And that's echoed here with that two of cups. This person doesn't want to let you go at all. Uh, I would say that this is definitely you two can communicate telepathically um, definitely through dreams, maybe even astral traveling uh, Leo's. 
and with the what we got here we've got the uh four of swords here so i feel that there may have been a point while you've been over analyzing maybe conversations between the two of you have kind of uh frizzled out a little bit um uh, not very much on the same page. You're overanalyzing it. I feel that they have been a little bit heartbroken because you may have pulled back your energy because you're not sure how this person feels. Uh, they were definitely uh, feeling really disconnected from you, quite heartbroken, okay? Um, going through a period, uh, just like you, overanalyzing, trying to rest their monkey mind um, because they do see you as their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. And I feel where they perhaps felt that they could and communicate with you in reality they have um gone into the spiritual realms to communicate with you okay so look out for those signs synchronicities and dreams uh leos because it will be your person trying to communicate that they don't want to let you go all right with the Page of Swords, I feel in reality, this person does want to clear up any misunderstandings, miscommunication as to how they feel towards you. All right, let's uh, continue. Thank you. Oh, wow. And it's because this person sees you as marriage material with the Hierophant coming in. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus in your chart. Uh, this person feels that you are divinely guided into their life. Well, we can see that with the two of cups. OK, um, the, I feel that this person, they may be like um, into meditation uh, and that's possibly how they communicate to you. If they're like a strong meditating person or maybe a, a strong praying person, I feel that that's how they try and connect with you on that astral plane. But but with the Hierophant coming out here, this person definitely sees you as a long-term commitment marriage material, somebody that's divinely guided into your life. And look at that. There's the Eight of Swords and it's the fate, it's face up. So many of you, like I say, you have been overanalyzing um, almost in this mental entrapment of how this person feels towards you feeling really disconnected, really unsure how they feel. So you may have pulled your energy back. But as this person comes towards you this weekend to clear something up, to let you know in no uncertain terms that they don't want to let go of this connection, but they kind of feel that you've pulled back a little bit and that kind of hurt them. And that's why they pulled back. It almost is a little bit like tip the tat here going on. Um, you pulled back because you didn't really know how this person felt. And because you pulled back, they pulled Pulled back. They want to clear that up and make it really, really clear that they don't want to let go of this connection. And as I say, it feels as if they resorted to communicating with you through dreams, um, signs, synchronicities on that astral plane. And it's like as you receive those messages, it confuses you even more. OK, um, analyzing it, um, trying to process it. But like I said, you need to empty out that hollow bone, okay? Empty out any preconceived ideas. And as you do that, that's when you recover. You then see the message um, that this person is trying to let you know is that they've got a lot of love for you, okay? It's, it's almost like you're going against the problem. It's like you're overthinking, overanalyzing, and stuck in the problem of how this person feels rather than allowing the flow of the messages to come to you that they, this person doesn't want to let you go. Yeah. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does these soulmates of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing. Thank you. And then we've got the justice card, yeah. So I feel with the justice cards coming out here, um, that's where you're getting balance as you understand um, that this person doesn't want to let you go. They have a lot of love for you. Um, with the justice and the two of cups, I feel that the two of you have got some sort of soul contract possibly as well with the Hierophant, you guys may have been married in past lives and whatever dreams or signs or visions that you're getting that you're not understanding, you will understand it by the time uh, the weekend comes around, comes to a close, because I feel that uh, you may be even getting snippets um, from your spirit team of um, being married to this person, okay? And that is to bring about some sort of balance. I would also say the distance 
feeling that disconnect, not really understanding how this person feels towards you. Uh, you want to re reconcile. You, 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 you want to be in this person's energy. You don't want them to be so distant from you. You don't want to be so distant from them. And neither do they, by the way. OK, uh, the justice card is something it's going to it's going to be balanced out. Remember that channeled message? All is well. OK, and it, do, it, it does feel that it may be you that's feeling a little bit anxious because it's like you can't make head nor tell of how this person feels about you. They love you. All right. They do love you. With the justice card, you also could be dealing with the Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. And then we've got the five of cups. Yeah. So the five of cups is you feeling really disappointed, really upset um, because you don't understand how this person feels towards you. It's come out in reverse. This is recovery. This is recovery. So as you get that clarity over misunderstandings, miscommunication, how this person feels towards you, because they're going to come in and clear it up. Um, it, it, it's you coming out of you recovering. Um, so whatever you were feeling anxious about, whatever it is you were uncertain about, uh, recovery, recovery. Um, you're seeing things from a new perspective. And as you see things from a new perspective, that's where you're being guided to uh, thread your intentions through that eye of the needle. What is it you want to co-create and sew and, 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 and co-weave with divine, co-create and weave the future that you want? Uh, many of you, this is success, okay, with the hummingbird. Um, you are embarking on a new beautiful journey with this person. Lovely. Okay, let's have a look and see what your um, advice is. My angels, and oh, thank you. Oh, okay. First card that through came out. Oh, look at inspiration. A new idea comes to you like a gentle whisper inside your heart. Listen and take action. This is inspiration from high above. There we go. The high priestess. I feel that that um, gentle whisper inside your heart is that your higher self as you and your person connect on that astral plane to uh, clear up. OK, I mean, this page of swords uh, may not even be them physically coming in to clear up how they feel. They may communicate to you um, on that astral plane because this person sees you as their twin flame ultimate soulmate and looking at the connection i would say that this isn't this is a true twin flame or ultimate soulmate because they can connect with you and with that inspiration card coming in it's like um your higher self is going to let you know okay uh receiving that message through that hollow bone uh, that gentle whisper inside your heart um and that is to let you know that this person doesn't want to let go of this connection it almost inspires you to recover from any kind of doubt or anxiety of how this person feels no need to be upset and disappointed if you feel disconnected from them because you're going to get some sort of sign leos uh, that this person loves you and they don't want to let go of this connection my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me our advice messages for leo sun moon rising and venus in love for week commencing Friday the 17th of December through to Sunday. Thank you. Oh, look at there's the anxiety. Yeah. So many of you in this energy of overthinking, feeling really, really sad, feeling really disappointed, can't make head nor tail how this person feels towards you. Yes, absolutely triggered some anxiety within you. And your message comes in and it says, we surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. And I could not have summed up um, your message um, uh, any better than that anxiety card yeah and one more please for our leos sun moon rising and venus in love for week commencing thank you oh look at that we've got heart and soul look at that when making your decision take into account what your heart and soul are saying sometimes the mind can deceive us choose through love not fear and that is that hollow bone i'm um, asking you to clear out any preconceived ideas remember what it is uh, you say to yourself so what people say to you normally about 50 percent of it is true what you say to yourself normally about 
40% of it is true. And that 10% is the your higher self. That is the truth. That is um, the universal truth. And so it connects us back to your channeled message. Um, this is the time for you to engage with the universal truth that is all around you. And it's right smack bang in your heart and soul. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that there for you, Leos. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our beautiful Sagittarius now. Okay, so Sagittarius, for you, we have the moon card in reverse, the emperor and the magician. So straight off the bat, I feel that it's your person that's feeling quite disconnected, um, disconnected from you or feeling very distant from you. Uh, it could be a breakup, but I'm not really feeling it. Well, it could be a breakup, okay? It could be. Um, but I feel that this person is really frustrated, really confused. It feels as if they're looking for you to make the next move, okay? With the emperor coming in here. It's like they are looking for you to clear out any misunderstandings, miscommunication. And I feel that you're manifesting, manifesting um, a solution, manifesting what move are you going to make with regards to this connection so um in context with all of your messages that we've received uh first of all first of all you could be dealing with a pisces or you could have pisces in your chart um and aries is coming up here strongly either in your chart or their chart so i feel um first of all uh there is definitely a new beginning or a transformation that is 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 imminent, I feel. Whatever the two of you are going through at the moment, it almost feels as if you're kind of fighting, fighting the problem. You're um, almost, um, how can I put it? It's like you're both banging your head against a brick wall, really. Um, you're quite still manifesting uh, what move that you're going to make. And they are frustrated that you're not making a move at the moment. So I feel uh, 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 Sagittarius, first and foremost, uh, with that magician, I feel that you're being guided with the eye of the needle to really think about what it is your intentions are, uh, what it is you want to co-create, what it is you want to uh, weave for the future with this person. And as you uh, are manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying for clarity, I feel, okay, as, as to what move uh, you've got to make. I feel be very, very clear with your intentions and weave that through um, that eye of the uh, needle, okay, in order for Divine Spirit Universe to illuminate what path you've got to take. Now, with the hollow bone, I feel that both of you almost need to clear out um, with that shaman flute, clear out any preconceived ideas of what you should do and what you shouldn't do, basically. Um, and that may be the lesson that you're both being brought here. It's like the lesson I am picking up is that you're you're both banging your head against the brick wall for, um, you know, uh, it almost feels as if, why can't they make a move? You know, why is it you've got to make a move? I mean, I I, I don't, we'll get some clarifiers in a minute, but it's like you, you're both uh, approaching um, the challenges that you are facing with each other. It, you're, 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 you're approaching it in a, 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 in a direction that is uh, not serving the connection, if that makes sense. It's like you're still, OK, they're frustrated that you're still they want you to make a move and you you're you're like seeking guidance as to what move that you are supposed to make. You're being guided to go with the flow of what it is you really want, um, Sagittarius, because you're the one that is uh, manifesting at the moment. Uh, what I can say is that um, the hummingbird is is letting us know that the two of you are going on a new beginning. All will be well. Um, let's get some more cards. So we've got here uh, the six of pentacles. OK, so this person either feels as if um, you haven't been given to this connection in the same way that they have. Hence why they want you to make a move. OK, to balance that out with that six of pentacles. And that's why they're really frustrated. 
you're unsure maybe you're the person um that's feeling a bit anxious if i've got to connect it with your uh channeled message you're not sure what move to make and then we've got the um we've got the empress uh, so this person does actually see you, whether you're a male or female, they see you as long term commitment, marriage material, somebody that they can build a future with. I feel that they hold you in very, very much high regard, but it almost feels as if you're blocking giving to this connection. And that is what they are frustrated with. Uh, they certainly see you as their divine counterpart, the empress and the emperor here. But you are not. It's like you're not m making the move that you two are like building a future together if that makes sense let's continue let's let's get let's continue my angels and spirit guides so i feel that that's why they they're the person that feels very disconnected from you thank you two of cups wow did i not just say that they see you as their divine counterpart and what comes up is the two of cups they see you as their, their, their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate, their divine counterpart. And it feels as if they they feel uh, like you're not on the same page because you're not given to this connection <coughs> in the same way that they are. That's why they want you to make a move. Yeah. And I feel that it's like you're, you're blocking making a move. You're blocking. They're seeing you. Basically, they're seeing you as holding back, holding back really coming into union all right and i feel many of you are manifesting like is this the one is this the one that i should really invest all my time in well they are they look like they are your divine counterparts um sagittarius and i feel that you're being guided uh to go with the flow of this with the hollow bone um the what what what's coming in as are you teachable it's almost like you need to empty out yourself of any preconceived ideas anything in the in past relationships that you've experienced where you've given a lot of your time and energy and nurtured and it didn't it didn't yield the reward reward that you had wanted that you had invested it's time to empty out that preconceived ideas because you it's like it's not like, like what i'm picking up is like um if you put all of that time and energy into this relationship with this person are you not going to are you not going to reap uh what you sow are, are you not going to get that return on your investment it's like you need to empty that out um get rid of that preconceived idea and go with the flow with this because uh you are definitely embarking on a new adventure if you want it okay the hummingbird is saying there is success here and then we've got the uh yeah look the page of um pentacles now the page of pentacles is somebody that wants to, you want to have a serious conversation but look again look your back is towards them you're not ready to have that serious conversation hence why you're blocking making a move because i feel many of you don't know what move to make but you know that there is some sort of of conversation that needs to be had with this person and then we've got um well it came out in reverse the death card um which is transformation you're blocking transformation okay uh with the death card coming in reverse i feel that's just echoing you manifesting wishing hoping praying um as to what move you should be making um and that's letting us know that because you're making no move you're blocking you're blocking you're resisting change okay uh resisting change being quite stagnant, being quite still, okay, which we can see because you're manifesting at the moment, manifesting as to what action you've got to take. You also could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. This person does think the world of you. You are their wish fulfillment. You are their happiness. Um, they definitely see you as their divine counterpart. But um, I'll, I'll be honest, Sagittarius, you're uncertain. You're the one that's uncertain. And look at that. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. It's almost as if, if you notice the journals here, it's almost like um, you've got, you've kind of experienced a type of relationship maybe in your past or maybe past lifetimes uh where you're still you're you're recapping you're recapping those stories those experiences and many of you i would say are quite 
quite anxious or quite afraid, um, confused as to whether or not you should make the move and really fully commit to this connection. I feel with the hollow bone, you're being guided um, to uh, empty out that thinking, okay? Because you're blocking transformation, you're blocking change, all right? It's almost as you're manifesting, it's like you're being guided Think of it from a different perspective. Look at it from your third eye chakra. What it is, what it is, it's like you've got to speak that truth to yourself, the universal truth to yourself, what it is you want. And when you know what it is you want, then speak it, speak it out. And that is what will come back to you. And what you're doing is you are threading the intention of what it is you want to co-create with Divine Spirit Universe to weave the future that you want with this person there is success here but i feel uh, sagittarius is up to you whether or not um uh, like your person um it's it's your move it is seriously your move you're the one that is to take the lead and i feel that you're being guided um with all the messages that are coming in to go with the flow rather than banging your head against the brick wall, uh, reminiscing over past relationships, uh, looking back on your journals, looking back on the memories of where things didn't work out because you invested a lot of time and energy. Uh, this is a whole different situation, a whole different relationship. And I feel that you're being guided. If you want this relationship, then speak your truth out into the universe and that is what will return to you all right let's have a look and see what your advice is my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you oh look at that love beautiful the heart of love is the heart of creation and that's what i'm saying is if you want love okay then uh Set your intentions with nothing but love, okay? And then act upon it, yeah? Because that is what is at the heart of the creation of this new beginning, this transformation that I feel that wants to come in, but you're blocking it, okay? And then it says, all is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. Again, the truth, the universal truth is love. OK, and I feel that uh, whatever you are hesitant, whatever it is that is got you a little bit um, stagnant at the moment, uh, reminiscing on past relationships where you've invested quite a lot. This is a different situation. You need to operate from that um, place of love um, and that's what you want to create for this relationship then you almost need to speak that truth um, feel that love um, set those intentions with love in your heart and that's what's going to return to you and then we've got sacred source and it says here we your angels are here to remind you of your magnificence didn't i not say in the channeled message that you guys um for all of the fire signs you're quite unique okay um, i'm i'm definitely reading for a unique bunch of fire signs um and they're coming in to just um give us some affirmation for that um remind yourself your angels are here to remind you of your magnificence your uniqueness okay you are literally an angel in the making a being of eternal love and light forever one with God, goddess, and all creation. So again, I feel that you're being guided to connect with your higher self, divine spirit universe, in that place of love, peace, and light. If you want love in this connection, then set those intentions um, with love, and that is what you will receive. And this card wanted to come out. Ah, oh, and then we've got faith. Do not lose faith, Sagittarius. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. And what did your channeled message say? All will be well. Um, and so have a bit of faith. Have a little bit of faith that love can go a long, long, long way. Um, and the truth, the universal truth is always surrounded by love. OK, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care, Sagittarius. Bye bye.